Good morning, Night City. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy 30. 10 out of Haywood. Thanks to unabated gang wars. One officer down, so I guess you're all screwed. Because the NCPD will not let that go. Got another blackout in Santo Domingo. Netrunners are at it again, poking holes in the power grid. While over in Westbrook, trauma teams scraping cyber psycho victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. And hail. And and hail. And and hail. Hail. <laughs> Are you using the net? Well, let me tell you something. It's dangerous out there. Santo Domingo area. Uh, the Arroyo. I was just at the vendor. And I just swapped out my build back and forth. I tried using the rocket arm. I didn't like it very much. I'm using the precision rifle, the SMG, and LMG. Three different guns. Don't you know? I ain't got no money. I guess I can just ride around for a second. My paint job is all scratched up. What a nice day. Brandon Street. And good morning, Scotty. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Go straight. Kendachi. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, my. Kendachi. There's people there. Bing bong, bing, and a bing with a bing, and bing, bing bong, and bing. Move. It's early evening where you are. Cool. It's, uh, well, yeah, it's not morning here either. It's 2 p.m.
yeah, 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 oh no. Oh yeah. Well, it's good morning because I woke up. How about that? But it's not morning for me either. So let's just appreciate the ray tracing. You see that weird glow around that Arasaka label? I don't think those are even glowing letters. I think they're just highly reflective, white paint. And it's just a, a sunny day and it's just reflecting a ton of light of white light against the background so it looks like it's glowing even though it's not really glowing like how that those lettering is it's kind of popping this fence here the shading on that uh, yellow fencing is, is or that the uh, scaffolding really nice those shadows it's all very realistic in fact it's so good that you might think it's not even real. It almost looks like a pre-rendered uh, gameplay demo. In 2077, you can live the world of the Edge Runner. Can I touch it? I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Now there's enemies over here. So I don't know much about Kendachi. Let's learn about Kendachi. Oh, so uh, GPT-4 is now available. Before I was using GPT-3, uh, you know, or whatever. The OpenAI version is GPT-3 slash GPT-4. Then you got to pay for GPT or whatever, 4. But now there's a new version that's free. And whatever. So, uh, tell, I'm asking the AI right now. Tell me all you know about the Kendachi Corporation from the Cyberpunk 2077 universe. Bloop! What will the AI say? All right, let's keep on walking. In the Cyberpunk 2077 universe, the Kendachi Corporation is a Japanese mega corporation specializing in the production of high-end weaponry and cybernetic enhancements. They are considered one of the... Okay, so they make high-end weaponry and cybernetic enhancements. In fact, I probably have some sort of Kendachi weapon and or Kendachi implant right now. They are considered one of the most influ uh, influential corporations in the entire world with vast resources and a significant presence in the global market. So, so I would consider them to be in the ballpark of evil. Kendachi is known for producing a variety. Oh my gosh. A variety of cutting-edge weapons and cybernetic enhancements ranging from traditional firearms to high-tech cyberware. Their products are highly highly sought after by mercenaries corporate security forces and even law enforcement agencies the corporation is heavily involved in, in the political and economic affairs of Japan and its ex executives wield significant influence over the country's government they're known for their ruthless business practices and they're not afraid to use force to protect their interests. They're rumored to have close ties to the Yakuza, the Japanese organized crime syndicate, and some speculate that the corporation may be involved in criminal, in illegal activities such as arms smuggling and drug trafficking. Despite its power and, and influence, Kandachi has faced significant challenges in recent years. The rise, the rise of rival corporations and the emergence of new technologies have threatened the company's dominance. 
Kandachi remains a major player in the world of cyberpunk. Oh my. Hey there, John. Uh, when you run this with ray tracing, it drops you to 60 frames max? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm currently running this game on the NVIDIA GeForce Now cloud. And it's running it with max graphics and everything. And when I did the benchmark, it said 90. But I'm pretty sure it goes beyond 90. Or whatever. I'm, I'm just keeping all those detail settings default because it's looking pretty darn good and it's pretty darn beautiful. Alright, so. Here we are in the game. Kendachi is a arms and cybernetic manufacturer. They're just like Arasaka. But not as, not as big. Okay. And for some reason there is the 6th Street Gang guarding them. This gang here is a bunch of veterans, if you, if you look. This is a worker. They're not bad, but they have a gun. You see? They're labeled as a bad guy. <laughs> but you're just a worker, but you have a gun. This person over here is a guard. This person over here is a guard with no gang affiliation. I'm gonna keep on running. What are they guarding? This person is just a guard. At some construction site. Let me ask some questions. You! What are you guarding? What are you guarding? What are you guarding? Hmm? Tell me. Tell me. Dang it. These guys look like they're just workers, and that's just sad. It's sad, but I'm allowed to kill them. Because they have the gun symbols over their head, and they're listed as red. But if I look at them, they're just workers. Okay. Shh. I'll tag him. This is the construction site outside of Kendachi. What are these guys doing? You don't see anything. You don't see me. You don't, 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 you don't see me. Militech? Oh. It's probably not Militech, though. He's wearing a, a, a Militech vest. But I killed this one. I didn't kill the other ones. Ew. Steady up and kerplow. They're gonna go inspect. Come on out! Be Come on game. out! No more games, okay? Oh my gosh, they got company. It's party time. I'm gonna knock them all down with a with a single punch. 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 I'm really fast. Who the heck are you supposed to be, huh? These guys are bad. Drop your weapon and show yourself. Uh, nah. Tap, tap. I'm not gonna kill you because I'm a nice guy. But you, 
you didn't put your uniform on today. Okay. You, you are looking for me with a weapon. That's not good. You should have ran away like the others. That's done. Very cool. What is it with you people? I was just inspecting. Leave me alone. What are you guys guarding? Still alive. He's still alive. All right. All these guys with these uh, hard heads on—they're still technically alive, and trauma team can resurrect them. Okay. You're—you're you're still alive. You're still alive. This guy. Not alive. Nope. Unauthorized. I don't want those guys living. They're not good. Okay, so where were we? This building with the orange top was the Kendachi. So, weapons manufacturers I know of, uh, Militech. It's a U.S. based company. Serves the U.S. government. Whatever. And whatever. Um... Kendachi, Japanese, smaller, I guess, in theory. You have good old Arasaka, Japanese. Big one. A big one. You have King Tao, and they are Chinese. But then you have Dinolar. They don't, they don't make weapons, they make uh, implants. And then you have Biotechnica. And they make food. Oh boy. Let the games begin. And here we go. See, these guys have implants. Shotguns. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Okay, now I shoot them. I will shoot them. So, there's a bunch of 6th Streeters here, and Master Vans, they're probably here to rob the place or something like that, I don't know. Fucking cabron! Perhaps. <laughs> Alright. Let's rock and roll. There's a bunch of bad guys here, and I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be more in the future. Oh, I have to kill these guys. I think it counts. I believe it gives me that skill. These guys died from blood loss from my punches. I 
I had the perk to make them stay on fire longer. Hmm. Are we done here? I feel like we are. My character's moving. Get your shit together, soldiers! I got you. You only get the skill point progression once uh, the combat sequence is over. Now, if there's still enemies running around, it's not really over. So that was the six creators over here at this Kendachi building. I've been here before, has scaffolding. I never really contextualized it. Uh, goodbye. And that is all our Saka. You got the Cyber Matrix building, kind of weird. This is the edge of the Arasaka complex. But is it? It is. Huh. It is. Hmm. I don't think I've really been over here. To be honest. It says hostile area. Are you bad or good? You are a resident. You work for our Osaka. All these people. I know who's bad. Are you bad? You're bad. All these people are hanging out in the Arasaka compound. Oh, yeah. Hmm. We have a guard. Very nice. Okay, so what do we have? It's weird how I never went over here by this tower. By this tower, indeed. Oh, because I couldn't get in through this side. And I gave up. You get in through the other side. I see. Extremists must be eradicated. Okay. Oh my gosh! 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 Oh my gosh. So I should be moving faster with this weapon out, like really, really fast. Especially as I eliminate the target. I'm supposed to move really fast. Like really fast. Yep. Slidey, slidey. Very slidey indeed. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I see them running. Good old Arakasaka. Concentrate your mind. Eliminate the target. I think you can, sir. Keep firing, God damn it! Okay, jeez. They're talking to me, you know. I'm too young to die. Uh oh. I'm right behind you now. You bet he.
No faking it around me. People fake their death all the time. Not on my watch. Okay. Hmm. I'm being shot at by a person on that walkway. This whole building shut down. Come on. There it is. You gotta dodge those bullets, you know? You gotta dodge them. Enough. Ouch. That looked rather painful. Fall in, they say. I do have slightly poisonous bullets. Got him. Oh, yeah. Dot org. The Oregon Trail. Full of Oregon. Hmm. In all my Arasaka meandering, I didn't go by this corner, so I'm. Ha eh. I'm happy we found this, and we learned about the Kandachi Corporation. You know, they're pretty shady. Ali oh. Good. A strong punch. Okay. Flop. Flop. As I had to. Plop, 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 plop. That should be good enough, I think. Clayton. Yeah, this this whole area is pretty nice. Focus fire, goddammit! Hey. Tap tap. Dead already. Sorry, dude. They said you work for us, you, you get these implants. When you start off as a corpo dude, they disable all, all of your implants. Well, that was nice. Now it's a one way trip. Oh no, it's not one way. They gave us an exit. Okay, so we have this whole row, and it was nice. It was real nice. It went all the way down, around the corner, and over here we have what? There's probably some sort of gang meeting down below. There's the pink gym. The animals might be there. Whoa! I think the six streeters are back by now. Because I saw their cars kind of bouncing the line. Oh, I guess it's the next phase. There's a transition. The bodies are gone now, and now there's new vehicles. So we could expect more activity over time. Cool. Well, that was nice. We just toured that area and we I felt like we learned a bit. Let me go ahead and write that down before I forget because we do so much in the stream over 12 hours, you know? Uh, 
Kendachi. Easy to be confused with Kiroshi. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So across the street we have some activity. This is the Cyber Matrix building. I don't know much about Cyber Matrix. Oh, but it's time we learn. Let's learn all about Cyber Matrix. Okay. Provide the same lore summary, but for the corporation Cyber Matrix. Bam. Boom. Let's learn about this company while I walk around. Uh, well. I guess, I don't know. There's no information about this company. But there has to be. Let's look for clues. Now, we have a bunch of six streeters guarding it. Like I said before. trying to understand what we're looking at here. We have this canal. It's pretty nasty. Kendachi. Arasaka. DTR. That's the big building. It's a huge landmark throughout this area. I'm going around the building right now. Okay. I picture this to be the rear security entrance of this building. This whole complex right here is all the same building. This is the back lot of that building. Almost a personal uh, canal for the building. There's a big silo of some sort. Why ever they might need that. Several different silos. There's an active fire burning at the very top, so... Bunch of pipes, bunch of pipes. We're, we're just... This is a separate yard, almost. You see, you have this front area. And there's a fenced-in storage yard. There's something going on with this structure here. Now, this building here could be a power building of some sort. Okay? Is what it could be. It could be processing... Okay, well, it's probably some sort of power building because there's power lines leading straight into the building. Okay? So, as far as I can tell, these power lines, I thought they were just connecting to that building. I think it's drawing power from that building. And perhaps that other building as well. I don't, I don't really know. See, well, that building there, that is drawing power from the power grid. But I think this is distributing power to the grid. I don't know. There's a lot of lines coming from this thing. Anyways, let's just check out the, the rear area. This is just the... I'm going to call it fuel storage. But who, who even knows? Who even knows? That's the rear entrance. This building over here to the right is a different building. It's different. Mm-hmm. Where is it? I think this to the right is the Cyber Matrix building. And this to the left is something else. Yeah, I think my swing around did, uh, was a bit too wide. Hmm. This says AB, that says 2C. Alpha Brava. Okay, Cyber Matrix. Alright. 
Hmm, there's a robot. Wow, the Sixth Street Gang has a robot. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and tag these enemies. They have a, a couple robots. That's really cool. Alright, so. There's one. I've just unlocked a new perk point. Look, no hard feelings. Come on out. All right, here we go. I went on it, boys. Okay. This is the end. Over here now, pal. Got him. Oh, the robot has no head. That's hilarious. Look, the robot has no head, and that's just the most funniest. That's isn't that hilarious? Oh, but it's blind. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh. Isn't that awesome? Lost obstacle sensors. The six streeters stole an Arasaka robot. That was pretty cool. And I shot the head off. King Tao. All right, I'm getting muds from these robots. Good thing I have that perk. Well, that was the. Cyber Matrix building. Okay, boom, boom, boom. That's good. We're learning. We're learning. Yeah. All this extra ammo that I don't need. Yeah. But we have this uh, lot. This empty lot. Construction. Uh, heavy equipment storage. Extra material storage. You know. Go back up to the Arasaka Road. I'm gonna sell what I have. My bank account is zero, zero, zero. Oh no. No worries on my mind. Excuse me.
We have a shopping center. Power grid. Coming across more construction storage. We have the Militech building, of course, to protest. I've already taken out the robots and everything. And they have yet to respawn. And we have more 6th Streeters doing 6th Streeter stuff. Flip. Come on, I'll make it quick. Flip, flip. Flip, flip, flip. Because I have to. This parking lot. There's a warehouse. There's an active, active power node thing. Whatever the heck's going on here with this active fire. Are they refining something? I don't know. I don't know much about these factories, factory operations in reality. Now, last time I checked, there's a bunch of bad guys all throughout this power yard. Yep. Certainly were. The raging suspect. Oh, slow motion. Makes it kind of hard to lead these guys. Man, I really gotta like go miles in front of them. Yeah, that's not the best use of the slow motion. Control. It's Only just if me. they're completely still. Ah, he's hit. Oh. I'm not hit. There's a few more bad guys here. Right in the elbow. Right in the foot. Ah. Got a boost. And boom. Take that, buddy. And your friend. As well. Oh my. Just take them all out. I'm down. One more time. So we had this power yard uh, right next to Militech. Full of bad guys. We're trying to establish the positions of these enemies. And build up my skills in the process. And, you know, memorize things. I'm, I'm sticking to this road over here. Ooh, even more game. Even nice. Er, than before. I gotta build up my annihilation skill and my assault skill. Uh-huh. Yeah. Buck a slice and pies. E. I have to go back up to that road. I'm just checking behind this building. Voila. Anyone here? Are you bad or good? <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> bad you are. All right, let's go.
Nice. Yes, it's not a sniper rifle. It's a precision rifle. I like how it looks. It's all futuristic-ish. Sleek and solid. You can go around the building without getting too distracted. Whoa. Going around the building. Again, up to the main road. Yeah. Start walking again. A long, lonely walk down this way. Average temperature this month this month have maintained within human safety levels. That's that's a good thing. No more boiling skin, freezing bodies, and the cold, cold wind. We got trouble. Combat cab. Those are bad guys. And we have this uh, high octane two two Arroyo zero six two two six. This fence is just a bunch of nothing. Let's go inside here. Surgical scissors, yes. Hmm. So now, Arasaka, the Arasaka building complex goes around this way. Of course. And right over here, there's a big compound of enemies, right? Let me go check out this junkyard side. These cars look nice. Um, let me go all the way down over here. Around the corner. Oh boy. Alright, cool. It's close enough. But it does not re respawn all that quickly. There's an area be between these um, coolant stacks. He's everywhere, man. He's everywhere. What's happening? Uh, too far. What? I am the Dark Knight now. I am the Bat Bat Batman. I got the poison. Right here, right there, right here, right there. And I'll blop him. Probably. Civilian in the way.
Not today, buddy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Bam. Oh no. I can't. Yeah. Up and around we travel, annihilating the enemy one by two. Well, that was nice. This uh, parking lot here is a predictable spot for the bad guys. You know, I'm in the area, so I took care of business. Yeah. That was fun, huh? So here we are across the street from the Arasaka complex. Oh yeah, the cops. Let's not worry about those cops. Let's go around this other corner. Let's not worry about those cops, huh? Are these guys back? Either way, I think once I enter the Arasaka compound, it's out of the NCPD jurisdiction, you see? It's a good way to lose the cops. I don't approve of this, um, giant mech on the corner. Can I loot him? I could, in theory, uh, farm some cops and then hide up in the Arasaka area. Nice. Nice. I'm just going to loop up and around across the street and back down. I'm getting uh, increasing familiarized with this region. It's all different, you know? The whole vibe of this place versus Watson versus Japan Town and all that. It's all different. Then don't. <laughs> Let's see if there's any clothing I don't have. Kendachi. Okay, this is a Kendachi store. We make laptops. We make screens. We make laptops and screens. Or something. But we've already established that they're a weapons manufacturer. But I guess just like Sony or something. They're just an electronics company that also happens to make a bunch of weapons. Hi there, it's oh, me yes? again. I like your style. And I want some of it. Hand it over. This dude has $93,000. So I'm going to empty out the weapons for my vehicle back there. The clothing I buy from the vendor costs a lot of money sometimes. I'm going to empty out the stuff from my vehicle, from my stash. Yeah, I have to look at the next legendaries I, I pick up in the field. There might be something good with the actual effect. Some legendaries have effects. You know. What's going on? Let me go pull some stuff Wait, from my what? vehicle. Oh yeah. Stop. Thank you. Let's get some of this uh, weaponry here, huh? A jangled mess. I can only have so many. I might as well pull out everything. It's sort of an emergency to have to put items in my stash. 
So I'll make sure to eat my food and my carry weight booster as well. I do have the perk to give myself 60 extra pounds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. And now I'll move some stuff back over that does not belong. I pull stuff over by accident sometimes. One sec. I gotta pull this item out. This this vest piece I did not mean to put away. So I'll use this uh vest piece right over here. Now we're good to go. Alright. Let's go sell what I can. And what I could. At the same time. Thank you very much. The game will warn me before I sell anything of importance. The game has no more money. How much do I weigh? I weigh 172. That's fine. Let's go consume some stuff. Max health, carry weight, stamina booster, some food, and a drink. Right over here. Wait, what? Excuse You're me. just gonna leave. Excuse me. Wait, what? You're just gonna leave. I paid for my goods. What the heck? I'm gonna pull my car over here and in, into this alley. Bless me. Right over here into this alley. It's a nice spot. I like to I like to have my car in an actual parking spot for the most part, you know? Of some variety. I don't wanna block anything. Let me, let me hitch right over here so I can escape. I don't want to block that uh, driveway or the dumpster. Question. So right now we're in the Arroyo region of the universe, as you can see. Ooh, I, ooh, ooh, I, I, ooh, 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 I, I, ooh, ooh. So there is... Let me, let me educate you on something here for a second. So here is the map inside of Cyberpunk. You can see how it actually has very limited information. It shows you where the jobs are. Once the jobs are, are gone, it's no longer marked. It shows you, uh, you know, where the drop points are to sell things. It shows you where certain bars are. And it shows you stuff like that. The fast travel points in your, your apartments but for the most part the roads well the roads aren't named the roads are not labeled okay the fast travel points are sort of labeled so if you right over here in your custom fast travel point these blue dots right here so delamain headquarters petrol street you know uh, republican vine lele park luxury apartments charter hill dark matter whatever uh, a plaza, Crescent and Broad Street, Redwood Market. Sometimes it's a location, like the Cherry Blossom Market. Sometimes it's a street, Metro. This is a metro station on Mon Monroe Street. Sometimes it's an intersection, Sagan and Diamond. But beyond that, these highways are not labeled. The buildings aren't labeled. You can tell the shape of them. You can't rotate the map. You can't mark on the map besides... A single fast uh, uh, marker to go to. You can't label the map. You know. I was trying to make my own map. It's, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough out there. For the most part. Taking a screenshot of this and then updating it. But, you know, I, I, I zoomed in each sector and I took a screenshot and everything. You have all these intersections. You know. There is the official interactive map. Uh, licensed by Cyberpunk, which I approve of. The other maps, if it's not licensed by the official game, I don't like it. If there's a website made by the by Cyberpunk, I want to read everything on that website. For example, the um, the official Cyberpunk 
Night City website acts like Night City is real and it tells you lots of information about the mayor and about different locations like you're a tourist and that's perfectly fine. But somebody else's website that they made talking about the lore, I want to read the source material. Where are you getting this information from? You know, this is just someone's interpretation. Somebody else's YouTube video talking about it, I don't really want that, you know? So I want the actual source. The source would be the Talsorian game series, the tabletop role-playing games, a bunch of books and play guides that give you uh, stories and lore about the world. And there's other sources of information as well. Well, the official strategy guide has a bunch of lore that isn't really in the game, that is connected to the game. And it, you know, detailed information about the world. I like to explore on my on my own for a long time to take in all these things so that it could properly contextualize within my brain so, so that the information knows where to go. Otherwise, it's just chaotic colors and numbers and shapes, you know, symbols and so forth. As you drive through the city, it, it means nothing. But if you go nice and slowly and look around and try to understand what the buildings are, try to understand the, the nature of the building, you know, like the petrochem and the whatever, it starts to make sense and it starts to get really immersive. But one additional layer to that immersion is to research all the lore that you can. And a huge volume of that is in the official strategy guide. And when you get the official strategy guide, it comes with a access code that gives you premium access to the interactive map. So th there's an interactive map, and it looks pretty good. It's like a, it's like a, uh, it looks like a satellite map of Night City. It looks pretty good. You can zoom in pretty well and see all kinds of stuff, and you can have a couple notes you can put on it, and it's official, and it looks pretty good. You know, it looks like a way better version of this map. <laughs> You know, it's like it's almost like they, they skimped out on this map on purpose to make you go get the account where you have to buy the strategy guide. You either pay five bucks for the code or you buy the guide and the guide has the code in it is what they want. But when you get the code, you get the premium map and the premium map is 16 times the detail. So you can zoom all the way in, which is amazing. And, it, it, you know, I could take some nice screenshots from that. And I can use that to create my own map to draw lines on it and everything because I have my own particular parkour route. But it, it'll help me appreciate the world. You know what I mean? It's sort of like going to Disneyland and just trying to appreciate it looking around and then you get those little brochure things in the front of the park where you could look at the map and because it shows you things, <laughs> you know? It helps you appreciate what the heck you're looking at. Yeah. But I got the book. It'll be here today. Sometime. It might even be here right now. Right now it's 3 p.m. Let me just check my Amazon. I might have to go check the front door. I'll have to break away at one point to go check to see if it's here. At one, you know. Basically. Right now it's out for delivery. And it ain't here yet. It'll be here before 10 p.m., which is crazy. So I'm going to be um, wandering through this section of, I believe this is Rancho Coronado. You can tell. The Arroyo is really industrial with all those factories. The Rancho Coronado is more residential with more open vistas, more open lines of sight, more fresh air, I can tell. It's on the edge of the desert, sort of. A lot of injured people, a lot of downtrodden people, a lot of construction workers. There's some six treaters out here, you know, some veterans, wannabe nomads, and you know, lots of vending machines and houses. There's a Ferris wheel out here, and so forth. So I'll be right back, okay? Don't be shy. Don't be strangers. I'll be right back. Don't be a stranger.
Oh yeah. Hello. Okay, so let me get out of this car here. We're just gonna walk around a bit, okay? Archer. Quadra. Come on, nice city. The pop and night life out here in the Santo Domingo. People aren't meant to walk over here. The sidewalk just disappears. People are supposed to walk over here? But I don't even see a, a dirt path. I guess, yes. They walk this way. I see it. I see it. I didn't see the dirt path of people walking. But it seems like nobody's coming this way. They're all going this way. We're all going this way. They're all going that way. There's a highway of people. Oh my. Those are Delamain robots. Huh. I think. Or Delamain. Delamain. I think Delamain might have just been using one of those robots. Boing, 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 and boing, and boing. The sidewalk goes this way. Stand wiser, never a miser. Is that a different clothing store? I mean, is that where I was before? Probably not. I think I was over here. So people get stuck on this loop. Yes, I was down there. I was one block away. Kandachi. Left your lunch in the usual place. Right, yeah, free. Still got time to squeeze in a quick line. Oh, and tell your mom she's got the best stims in the whole city. Shh. Change the subject. Talk about school stuff. Say what now? In case someone's listening. Uh, right. So, did you know that in the old days schools didn't have brain dances? Everyone had to, uh, you know, read books instead of absorbing all the, you know, all the things. No virtues? Seriously? Wow. That must have been super boring. Yep. Sure was. I can squeeze in a quick line before a flim flam. I left your lunch in the usual spot. The Western Corporate State. Western corporate states. Following a 20 year employment period within the WCS, visa holders can earn the right to permanent residence, a marriage license, the Western and corporate a states. Child permit. In Northern Europe, the humanitarian crisis has worsened. Refugees from flooded regions in Belgium and the Netherlands continue to pour into Scandinavia. Sweden has responded with force, sinking over a dozen refugee vessels in recent weeks. Despite humanitarian efforts, nearly 60 people have been killed. Have we found heaven on Earth? Permanent human settlement on Antarctica is celebrating 10 years today. A wealth of natural resources hidden under the ice has spurred on the continent's rapid economic development. Though some environmental degradation has occurred as a result, <laughs> inhabitants of the South Pole are still enjoying life as Antarctica's first dollhouse was recently opened. But perhaps
perhaps most appealing uh -huh. to locals and newcomers alike is the astonishingly low crime level. Antarcticans enjoy a murder rate of only 70 per 100,000 residents. Thank you for watching and... So there is a habitat in Antarctica. It's very safe, relatively. And uh, it's been there for 10 years. Full of resources. Fun. Ready to get My name is Peter Andrapa. And bloop. Yay. Bound and broken on the floor. Illusion never changed. And do something real. Yeah. We'll need that. Taco in a bag. Thank you. I just ate all my foods and everything. Okay. It's nighttime here in Santo Domingo. Let me go around and around. I think I have nothing else to sell. I have a lot of money now. That's what's going on. Yeah. Yep. Got that. So we have this basketball court area. It's nice. Sort of. And we have this ferris wheel. Let's just walk on down to the ferris wheel. Fiberglass helmet. Yep. It's walking on down. Walking on down to the Ferris wheel town. that moon hey there buddy mind if I steal some stuff from you thank you Something crashed. Oh, it's like a drone crashed into that house. That's pretty cool. See, I'm really trying to appreciate how the game looks now because when the next update hits, I won't know what's new and what's old unless I really check around. You know what I mean? Wow. Lots of people out here. I don't think it's supposed to be leaning over like that, necessarily. What? What? Oh, that guy's on fire. Oh no.
They're all running in fear. They see some dude standing in a fire. They don't know what's happening. The cyber psychosis. The police are here to inspect what happened. Let's try to overhear. Listen in. Always fucking something. Always. What was that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's a flying dumpster. Oh. Probably also means that the street cleaners are dropped off by drone and then picked up when they're done. Maybe. Because you don't really see the dump truck, so you don't really... Because they're in the air. Ugh. Rancho Coronado. Soaking, I'm soaking in the nightlife. Landmark. You're just going around the block. All these vending machines, I tell you. Good. Looking pretty good. That thing is, it looks like it's dug into the earth, but it's not really. It's just how it's designed. It's been sideways like that. Coronado Public Park. It has a name. Night City, Rancho Coronado Public Park. Checking out this park here. Got this wraparound area in the back. Bruce the Boss Skiv. 1979 to 2028. Hmm. OK, 
Okay. Let's go around this outer region. This is outside the park. We're just going to check all the way around. Oh, yeah. Hey there, Thomas. How's it going? We're doing some, some deep exploration. Don't you know? some gunfire, but I don't know what it is. I'm doing well. Thank you, Thomas. Miss Clam over here and move through the world dot com. A bunch of bad guys. What the we slow down time a bit and take care of Biz now. Fucking gun! Yeah. Awesome. This the six street gang. I'm trying to identify where they might be. You can kind of tell based upon the layout of the city. The shadows. But not all shadows are equal. It's nighttime as well. So the shadows are kind of everywhere, aren't they? So we're just going to be driving around or walking around. This part of the city has a bunch of houses. Let's go check in this alleyway. It's a long alleyway behind these buildings. I was driving in front of this whole region. This is in front, or sorry, behind of that clinic. Oh yeah. Entire alley. Awesome. Sixth Street. Well, thank you very much. There's enemies behind the street. Not many. But it's fine. A certain number. Twenty-seven dollars. Eddie's. Euro dollars. Okay. Right now it's uh, three twenty-nine p.m. in my side of the universe. Don't you hunk at me? Okay, let's see what's around this corner. We have this highway being constructed under construction. like a good spot for enemies to hide. Let me walk behind these. This spot. Might be some loot and whatnot. People are living up here. This is the active construction site. This highway, they're building it. Oh, yeah. People are living back here in these hardcore tents. I was just down below, and now I'm up above. 
nothing special. It's almost a sidewalk for people. A, a very dangerous sidewalk. <laughs> but not really. This is just for construction vehicles. Heavy equipment to roll through. It's not for people. They should probably block it off. Let me go over here on this other side. Let's go down to the end of the highway, actually. This highway is under construction. It's sort of behind the Rancho Coronado Public Park.com. And over there is that. This highway is leading straight to the construction of this new mega building. Okay. Makes sense to me. Let me keep going straight a bit and I'll turn right back around. I'll do some vaulting hurdles. Construction, construction, big e construction equipment leads all the way forward. I'm pretty sure there's a bundle of enemies at this construction site. Let's go check it out. Sometimes as you approach, there's a vehicle frantically leaving. But it's been a while. Wraiths. Feels pretty quiet. Almost too quiet. Now we appear to be in between phases. There's nobody here besides these homeless people. Ugh. Okay, so there's my highway. There's this other lot over here. And what do we have? We have enemies. No, we have some weird advertisements behind this. Spot. I'm going to hop in the back of this spot right here. If I could. If I could. Or not. This is some yard of some variety. Whatever it might be. Whatever it might be. Let's just find out. In just one one moment. This is the some sort of night city clinic of some variety.
ओके हेलो ओके दिस इज दी क्लिनिक वेट द क्लिनिक राइट देयर दैट्स द क्लिनिक ऑन द आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ टाउन एंड दिस इज द डैम really hard to tell you know uh huh yeah yeah that's a damn all right underwater garbage but are there enemies in here at one point in the storyline there was which is the only reason why you can go inside waste of time and money if you ask me someone goes whack you should put them out of their misery none of this Hmm. It's all about the Eddie. Hospital patient data. Our soccer cap with camera. Hmm. Hostile area. Hostile area. It, it was at one point. I guess I'm not really done looting. Hmm. Guess I wasn't really done looting. It's going back through this hospital from this quest a long time ago. I'm going to really enjoy my next playthrough of Cyberpunk. That's sort of what I'm doing now. I'm sort of preparing for that. My knowledge. Core knowledge. Okay, so we have this other side of the highway. I wanted I wanted to check out. But first before that, let me go check out this lot behind the hospital. You see? Mhm. Mm this is some sort of lot and facility. How large is it? Not the largest of facilities. all these pipes nice yeah ouch and we are behind something we are near something these are the other structures i saw from the other end so there is the mega building There is the dam mega building and then something Obviously that's the mega building so what's this The highway The highway Cool see it all makes sense now Now I know what I'm looking at oh. Eventually the shapes become really obvious right now they're just a bunch of random shapes on that map there i also think it's weird that you don't have a flashlight there might be a flashlight mod for a weapon or something but i don't think so in this game there's no light but there is this That works. I'm not quite sure what my assault levels at, but I still have to use that weapon a bit. I'd rather use the revolver. Okay. So right now I'm trying to build up my skills. Once I'm done doing that, I, I, I can be free to do whatever I want to do. I like the revolver. Shotgun, sword, punch combo. I, I'll, I'll probably go back to that once I'm done refining everything. but much stronger. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Here's the hospital. There's the highway. We're not going this way just yet. There's the highway. Let's go down this other side of the highway and check out what these other buildings are, but there are enemies right over there. These are all houses.
Okay. Construction in that yard right there. It does feel different at nighttime. I think the last time I was through here, it was all daytime. And now it's all been nighttime. The day night cycle lasts long enough that it really feels like you're going through a whole period of time. I feel like the day night cycle in Valheim is a bit, a bit fast. It's like five minutes. It's like, well, it's 15 minutes. You know? Just about before it's impending doom, darkness, sunset. Sunset. Okay, so that's all done there. Hospital, boom, and... Hold on a second. That don't seem right. Well, I guess so. This is some weird outdoor gym. Yeah, I did it. Engineering Y. Yeah, to level 6. I now have two more perk points to spend. Isn't that cool? I think so. Ooh. There's a chance of getting something you might need. Oh. Awesome. It's just you never really see drones. Unless you want to see drones. Maybe the, the police drones? Maybe the turrets? All those are considered drones, maybe? Okay, the hospital's right down there. Got this intersection, these, these signs. Let's go across the street. Across the street. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to understand this spot more. I'll probably leave. I like to analyze a spot for a while, but I don't like to stay in one spot forever. So we have, we are approaching some weird stuff here. Uh, that coloring of that building was Kandachi, that orange stripe with that concrete building. Earlier that was a Kandachi building. Is it a, is it a Kandachi building now? Let's find out. Let's find out. Are you Kandachi? These people catch on fire all the time. It's sad. Okay, it's just some building. It's just some building. Yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm gonna start running towards Night City. Okay. I gotta get to Night City. I'm in Night City, but you know, deeper into the heart. We're on the, the outside fringes. I gotta get to Night City. Hey there, officers. How's it going? Yo, you better watch it with me. I speak, you listen. What happened? Oh no.
tippy toe, tippy toe. Right on down the dusty road. That way. Give me a slide on down here. There's probably some enemies right over yonder. Right over here. Some enemies, people. How y'all doing? Are you alive and well? Look at that steamy old Nat City. There will be enemies right over here. Yep. I'll shoot me over here. Boom. And boom. Yep. I'm going to knock them all down one time with a single punch. Okay. Single punch, and then I'll light them up with my LMG. I'll avoid this, the civilians. Light him up. That was cool. Alright, so this should lead straight into this other area. Which is large. I'm going back to the deeper heart of Night City, but this whole area is full of bad guys. Yeah. Excellent. What was that? I'll show you. Now, I think those punches alone are so strong. They just kill them. Hey, Chum, calm down. Let me go over here for a second. I gotta maintain my full blood. Whoa, that's a lot of them. Shooting me through the truck. Like Am I though? Good thing I moved because that truck was about to blow. Oh no! They don't deserve to die.
That was exciting. I must say. Excuse me. All right, so now we're we're moving on in towards the city. Deep, deep, deep. Move towards the hologram. About to get over encumbered. That's what's about to happen. Moving in. Well, I have the perk to uh, reduce stamina cost from sprinting. Not so much from jumping. From dashing, yes. Passing by Petrocam. If I start combat with this weapon, I'll move faster for a while. It's pretty cool. We're heading into the city. I see a car. Cars like that usually indicate bad guys or motorcycles. Now I have. See how, see how much faster I am? Ridiculous. And I'll carry that speed boost forward with the San Devastan. About to burn a hole through this ground over here. Now we're in Haywood. I'll take a left over here. Can't get me. Let's go this way through Haywood. All the way down to the end. I think this is poor Will Street. Mm -hmm. With this archway here. Yep. I'll be taking a left down there at the end. Here I'll be taking a left. Mm -hmm. Entering the Glen. Awesome. I'm just following this left down for a bit. This might lead straight to Wellspring. If it does, I'll take a right and then a right and then a right. <laughs> We're looking for the uh a couple landmarks, I guess. There is the mega building right there, but we're also looking for the town hall, city hall, because I found a nice line of enemies. Woo. Here's the park, so I know exactly where I am, because that way leads towards the city center, right there. We want to go this way. Here's the mega building. Let's go over here and try to sell some stuff at this vendor. We're currently in Haywood in the Glen. Yeah. Nice. No money. Ooh, wealthy, wealthy, wealthy. So I'll be taking a left up here. Down this road. Or down this road. Remember, this cement road is a very important road. Or these cement blocks. 
Let me take this one down just for a second. I think I want to go down that way to the left. Yeah, this one merges onto everything. Yeah. We don't really want to go that way. We want to go this way. I'm not quite sure of the road name here. That's the Market Road Street. There's also Fuyutsuki. There is the city hall right there. Okay, we're in the back end of city hall. This is where we start our journey. Okay. And I'll be going down this row of buildings. It's a nice row of enemies right here. Let me just reload. If I start combat with this weapon, it's better. It'll give me a speed boost that'll last a while. So now I'll swap weapons. This is the road of fire and war! Ugh. I slowed down time. Straight down a bit. Yep, right over here on the right. They're coming for me. Headshot. <laughs> yes. That's done. And now we go. Oh boy. There the suckers are shred. Let me go over here. And get him right through the wall. Like so. And go. One more time. That's right. Right there. Flip. And blap. And let's slow it down. Kaboom. All done. There, Let me back it up a second shreds. and take him back down again. Awesome. And I'm staying down that straight road right on through. Straight on down. Right away. All the way straight to the end. The bent to bad guys. Oh no, why'd you walk in front of my gun? Well, I guess it's party time, isn't it? I know you're right behind me, it's okay. Oh boy. Oh really? We have a problem with ammo. It's okay. In theory, get away, get away, ah. get away. Hands down. Ah. No. Keep my cold blood up and running. Let me go back down the straight road. In slow motion, I'll punch them all one time. Yeah. Let me punch them all in slow motion. Yeah. Donde estas? One time. And then back again, I'll wipe them down. This robot wants to go down. 
can I loot you? No. But I think it's possible. No! 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 Yes. Yes. Okay, and now we go straight ahead yeah, to the anyways. next group of Come enemies. On out. <laughs> really fast. I would like to find out where my uh, apartment is from here. Oh, jeez. Let me punch him one time. There you go. And again. So I have to use these weapons because I'm trying to increase my skills. And I, it's sort of like in Valheim where I have to use different... Oh, but one second, one second. I have to use different weapons to increase my overall skills. So I have to use like this weapon and the machine gun thing. I have to use these weapons. Right about here. And here we go. I'll slide around and punch him. One time. That, that guy's fast. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Do you get when you travel down? Oh, street. Yes, Oompa Loompa. That's right there, my the mad skills dot org. Damn. Damn. He wasn't dancing. And that was his downfall. All right, we go back down here. That's a side alley. We're trying to establish these routes through each zone. Right now, we're inside of the the Haywood part of the map, called the Glen, with the Valentino gang. Buddy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make my way on down to my apartment. Oh yeah. That's right. Heading on down. See, that was a lot of enemies, wasn't it? Wasn't that a bunch of enemies? And that's like a line going down. Let's check and see where my apartment might be. I'll mark it and I'll run straight to it. This way. Let's go this way for a second. 
I'm gonna start a fight with somebody. Hey, hey, pal. Out of my way. Yep. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. Get up. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's go this way. I'm heading to my apartment now. Ludicrous speed. Flop. Flop. Okay, I'm gonna punch him one time each. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. Yeah. So, remember that one Atomic Heart game I was playing? It was like Russian or something. And it had an interesting storyline and whatever. It, it, it. I think the thing really was like a knockoff Cyberpunk mixed with a couple other games. You know? It wishes it could be Cyberpunk. Yeah, Annihilation, level 16. I did it. We're heading to my apartment. I'll stop by a vendor along the way if I see one. I'm not trying to detour that much. I'm just trying to kind of head there, you know. If I see enemies, I'll, I'll attack them. Overkill. DJ Overkill in the AM. I live through this. Ugh. I'm gonna get so fucked up. If, if, if. Oh. Awesome. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Oh yeah. Okay, we're still heading towards my apartment. In the glen. And then I have to check for my package. I have this package on the way. Yeah. I gotta start with this gun. Thank you. Extra stacks of cold blood by way of critical. Bouncy, trouncy, fun. I'm over here now, guys. Whoa. Away, I'm sorry. 
I had to. That's why they call me DJ Overkill. Or whatever. This is my apartment. Let's see where my package is. I don't think it's here yet. I don't think it's here yet. Okay. So. Uh, it's not here yet. Maybe. We have the hunt. This is the river quest. It's a weird thing. The end quest right there. We have some content out there in the desert still. It's weird stuff. I can do the final fight. Wait for the final fight. Let's head on down to Pacifica. Okay. And along the way, I'll stop by a vendor. Yeah. I have to head on down to Wellspring. Oh, straight ahead. Straight ahead, folks. Yeah. All according to plan. Yeah. Entering Coast View. That might even kill all of them. I don't really want it to, though. I want it to almost kill them. Like 90% kill them. These are really good hands I have here. And I would like to go check out the vendors. Let's see if I can uh, load up my trunk here. food. Very weight stamina. This should increase my movement speed quite a bit. Quite a bit. Now, punch all of them. Cool. An assault. That was nice, huh? Show was. Go check this far end of the beach. Right up your 
arrêter. Continuez de bouver jusqu'à la mort. Oh. Yeah, I got my assault up there. Even more than before, there's a group over here that we want to take care of if I'm going down the row. If I am, that is. Right here has increased damage and uh, reduced recoil, increased armor while I aim from cover with the rifle here and the SMG. Not so much my LMG. I'm supposed to sort of move around really quickly with the LMG. Weird. But whatever. Thank you, friend. Hey there, guys. Yay. Take that. Booty boards. You call this this. We what don't cover it. What the fuck is going on? Am I though? That seems to me to be quite the contrary position. Just gonna jab them. The, the official grounded update dropped today. It's no longer in beta. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for letting me know. Are you playing it? Did you play the beta? So they added like a helper plot, a, a helper builder net that helps you build structures and some other stuff or something all right so where are we yeah i, I thought well i saw that they added some sort of builder nap thing Oh, a new bug. Oh, yeah, there's like a wasp. They added wasps and something else. But I haven't seen the wasp. I haven't seen the wasp for where they are in the yard and whatnot. But they added wasps. That's scary. It's pretty cool. It's cyber psychosis. Knock, knock. We don't want to harm you.
Awesome. Mods from robots.com. We're supposed to take him in. Oh, this guy has robots. Good thing I put that perk on, baby. Alright, trying to apprehend the dude. Who's gonna beat you up? Okay. I'm not gonna aim at your head. Knees only. Knees. Knees. I, I don't want to blow up your head. Surrender. Knees. Oh, good. All right. Let me let me call Regina. There we go. Let's just cruise through this area. I really enjoy the parkour in this game. It's really, it's really relaxing, soothing, nice. Other good feelings of your. I see you. I have to start combat with this weapon. And now we go fast. Zoom. Boom. That's what we call a cleave. Right through the wall. She's blowing up. Darn right. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Shazam. Oh no. I don't like that very much. Come on, man. Oh no. You're fucked now. Nah, I'm fine. I just want to let you on fire. I just want to let you on fire. That too much to ask for. Okay, that spot's all done. Wait, that spot's not done? Oh, I have to collect a bit more information. I'm sorry. We're not done with this spot down below. I felt like it didn't really end. Let's go check these computers and whatnot. Nice. Stuff right here. A generator. Kill the net runner. Lex Talonis. Use this computer. Messages. Job offer. I'm in deep duty. Yo, I messed up. I wanted to fry this gunk I hired to try trying to leave no witnesses or pay the flim flam fortune he asked. Except he had defensive chrome and eked out living. And flipped me up real bad. Then Netwatch joined the party, and I barely slipped out, out the net before they they fried me. Man, it was a cluster, a cluster flim. I'm holed up in my spot, and I feel like my brain's doing gymnastics in my skull. I'm seeing more ADN, more scams around, 
but I don't know if they're like really here or not. Gotta help me out. So it seemed like this dude here heard from a friend you deal with recon and risk assessment. Okay, your friend gives you a rate to uh huh. Robbery. Meet at the place tomorrow. Okay, so 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 this dude worked with somebody and uh, he felt like the guy he was working with was double crossing him so he tried to fry his brain through the net while well, he was hooked up to the net but it it, it backfired and uh, something happened and when he left after net watch came he felt like his brain was going crazy doing gymnastics in his skull and that he, he keeps seeing scabs around, but he, he he's not sure if they're really here or not. So maybe it was caused by net, net watch, like a virus. A virus caused it. A, a rogue AI. It's causing cyberpsychosis. Who knows? Rogue AI. Bozo Ozob. It's V. Heard you had a gig for me. You heard right. I need a driver. For what? Mm-hmm. And for what exactly? Oh, you know, this and that. I got a few errands to run. A couple of friends that need paying a visit. The usual. Listen, I'm a straight shooter. So let me cut right to the chase. I heard you're the best in <laughs> town. Thing is, I like working with the best. <laughs> I know the best don't come cheap. I'm not gonna get into the nuts and bolts, cause if what they say about you is true, you can handle anything. Oh, so yeah. let's get this settled. You got what it takes? Or are they wrong about you? Good old Bozo, I'll take the gig. Alright, I'm in. Japan town then. By the market entrance. Give a few honks and I'll stroll up. Later, V. It's Ozob. I like the Ozob quest. Send in the clowns. Send in the clowns. I'll be there. That's my next job I'll be doing. It's a fun side quest. He has a funky old grenade for him. It's appeared to be the right spot to be, huh? Yeah. That worked, huh? Yes. How can I help you? Oh, no. Yes. No, no. You ain't gonna come back from that one. Tell trauma team I said hello. Okay, we're just gonna cruise around over here. Who can ask for oh. anything more? Now, do the enemies over here at the Grand Imperial Mall actually respawn? Let's find out. I keep checking. I keep checking every so often. Maybe after after the fight, there's like a boxing match in there. Buck a slice. Oh, 
If I start combat with this, okay. Who sent you? Here now. So darn fast. Oh, and a hum now. I'm gonna punch you in the elbow. And set you on fire. Don't you know? In the elbow. Excuse me. Oh, it's happening. You had best be believing. Ah. Stop! Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Look it like a jab. <laughs> I see you. Oh. I got him right behind the wall. I learned that not just tech weapons shoot through walls. Uh, I sort of already knew that, but it was super confirmed because this is not a tech weapon, I don't think. It's a power uh, precision rifle. Wait, listen. Listen. They're talking about... Um, the guy I'm about to meet. <laughs> about some guy with a big nose that is actually a grenade on the front of his face. Okay, here we go. Then I'll stab your eyes out, yeah? Take How's that feel for you? Yeah, she might. God damn it! Watch your language. What do you think this is? Yeah. No, ты мне ответишь, And Yonkers. Annihilation. It sure takes a long time to get these skill points towards the end of this journey. Open fire. That works. Thank you. Hi there. I want to sell you my stuff. I'll check that clothing store for new items I don't have yet. There's apparently a bajillion different items. Let's see here. Any mods or anything? I'll buy this cool mod here because I can't pull mods off of things. So I like to buy these good mods and sell the bad mods. All this gray stuff. Unless it's super unique. Some of these are, are unique, like this weird one, the handyman. It's unique. You know? Advantage. Taking up all this room. Ooh. I got some good stuff down there, you know. Starting to get some good stuff. Yeah. Four thousand dollars, huh? Done. Bye bye now. Enemies here. Oh, 
hilarious right now. I think the car might be pulling up. So I'll be moving really fast now. Punching each enemy one time. Or sort of. the engine effector and let's get back there fuck the beach not today what? buddy I'm so fast <clears throat> hurry up already fuck this there it is that's what I wanted. The car to blow up. The other car has not blown up yet. I gotta be careful. But it's not on fire. Never surrender. Hmm. I got him right in the head behind the wall. Oh yeah. So let's go stop by that vendor. I'm not sure if I actually did. I'm not sure if I actually did when I came around that corner. We're not really done over here either. Uh, I have to stop by all the vendors before swinging back through. To be honest. Hey there, Chris. How's it going? So right now I'm trying to build up my skills across the map and still memorize things and figure out nice routes across this map and give a nice tour. This is what we're doing. Let me go sell some stuff to this dude here. Got on hand. Oh, so slow and weird. Why would I ever want a big old sledgehammer like that? It's such a weird, a weird situation. But maybe I should buy it because I don't have one. I don't have a legendary hammer. Fifty thousand. Well, that's why I shouldn't buy one. It's sort of expensive. What? Marks enemy on a hit. What? Attacking the enemy's head with any weapon deals more damage and returns the headhunter knife and clears the mark. But you have to shoot him in the head afterward? What kind of weird build is that? Relying on not having enough head damage? So in this one... You're supposed to throw a knife at them and then shoot him in the head. Just shoot him in the head. Jeez. All right, here we go. This Ozob guy is waiting on me, and I don't want to make him wait too long. So let's pull out the right vehicle. The correct vehicle. The once and future king. Hi there. Do you guys have a sale on... Hi. 
Hello. You don't want to service me because they killed the guy outside? Is that how it is? No? Hmm. That's weird. I'm just a, I'm just a dude. Looking to get shipped. <laughs> I'm just a guy. I don't know why they're not selling the good stuff. It sucks. Let me get these battery packs. Cause I don't got them. Bye bye now. Okay, so now it's time to go drive across this city. Alrighty. I'm gonna go pick up Mr. Ozob in Japantown. I gotta pick up Mr. Ozob in Japantown. Let me call my good car. So according to my vague knowledge of the map, I believe this road here goes to the back of Charter Hill or some garbage? And that'll lead me straight to um, Japantown. This is my fancy car. I wanna impress, I wanna impress the clown. Right through the tunnel. Oh yeah. Here we go now. Hundred and thirty. Hmm. Kinda fast. Entering biotechnical flat. With the drone. Here we are behind Pacifica. Biotechnica. All these greenhouses and so forth. Oh yeah. Stay on this highway and add for water. Looking to Jackson Plain. Okay, so we're still behind Pacifica, and this in this direction is going to be uh, the the rear end of Santo Domingo, and then eventually Charter Hill. So it's going to loop around the entire thing to the edge of the desert. Do that. What a tangled web we weave. Let's not go too crazy with that speed. Oh my. We were around the Arasaka Tower earlier, weren't we? There's the pink gym. There's all those houses in the Rancho Coronado area. This is the bisecting... Is this Highway 101? I'm not sure. I still have to explore these neighborhoods. We have the Ranch Coronado Mega Building. We're, we're still heading towards Westbrook. The Arasaka compound still to the left. With 06 in the distance. I was running around this building earlier, and over here as well. This is the the weird front flap of this other building.
case, keep on going straight. It was opening up a bit, you know, the map. Oh, yeah. with M54 News and Very this nice. is your local latest. The so, NCPD towards has Chapel Hill. caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown I also have to go through North Oak, Oak as well. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and in extreme cases even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to red. Residents of Arroyo and Watson are advised not to leave their homes after dark and always ensure easy access to protective firearms. Yeah, Schools and hospitals have been closed until further notice. Mm. What's next for Pacifica? The district formerly designed as an oasis of luxury Pacifica. has become a den for violent gangs. A den for violent gangs and drug addicts. Kang Tao recently expressed interest oh in the purchase of Pacifica property with the aim of King Tao wants to build and logistics. You hear that? King Tao Pacifica wants to build something in Pacifica. Considered selling the land for a single euro dollar in a symbolic gesture. Provided that Kang Tao demonstrates commitment to eradicating the district's criminal presence. But there might be Could some increased Kang Tao uh, security the presence in the up update. Will increase to one thousand euro dollars per dog per month. Maybe. Similarly, the fine for possessing an undocumented animal will increase to forty thousand euro dollars. Okay, we're Thank heading to a nice parking spot, N54 not that one. News. I'm going to park Have either so I either park in the parking lot behind the hotel or that's really like the only po or in front of this little strip but let's go in the parking lot behind the hotel okay it might be public parking but I feel like this other parking spot is like right there right, see right there is a parking spot I would like to find a the closest parking structure to my location and then just figure out the walking routes around that position. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to meet Bozo Ozob Mac D coming up. I would love to have to pay for parking. I would love that. Oh man. One can only pull for this thing. Nice. So I'd like to go freshen up in my apartment. It's been a little while. But not that long. Let's see if I can sell some stuff. Red, red minutes, blue moon, purple horse. enemies up there. I am curious. Because you're there for a mission. You're there for a mission. I'm 
dodging your bullets. Oh no. Shazam. Uh. Okay, well, my apartment is right over here. But never catch me. Never catch me. I'm supposed to go meet this guy with my car at this spot right there. And I will. I will. You know, is this go around the block really quick and then go to my apartment to get my buffs. I'm sort of waiting on my package to arrive. I think it'll arrive any moment now. Let's go check out this um, ripper dock and the clothing store. This is really the... the um, the rock memorabilia store. Hi there, friend. You got new stuff? Got anything that might interest me? Now we head over here for the Ripper Dock. Oh. Hi there, friend. I'm shopping for new chrome. One of you eventually will have what I need. Eventually. Hmm. It's important to buy these mods before I need them. You know? It's so important. All these clothing items. Oh my. Garbage. All this garbage I have. Oh yes. Amazing. One thousand dollars. Yay. I now have seven hundred and thirty three thousand dollars. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Excuse me. I should live like right here. I should live right around here. Oh. Ouch, no. No. Yes. Welcome to the tiger. We got lots of clothes. Oh. Smart a rifle. This whole area is cloistered. I see. Rather fascinating. It's almost invisible. Inaccessible. That's why it's easy to get lost. Because some, some spots are inaccessible unless you go all the way around. This whole spot down below. If you're up there, you have to worm your way through. One more time. back to my apartment and I'll take a shower, drink some coffee. Welcome to Encart, home of Encart. Be your best self with Brosif beer.
of trash. Okay, let me close my door. Can't turn the TV on. Will it stay on while I sleep? To keep me company in the room right now. The answer is yes. I burned some incense. Hello. My name is Eric Iqbal, and this is WNS News. Yeah. Today's story. A routine work study session at the end. <sighs> and I'll sleep all the way. Just uh, six hours. I gotta check my door. Just to make sure this package ain't here. I can't trust these tracking instructions. It left the thing at like noon or something. It's 5 p.m. right now. Yeah. Yeah. There is no coffee in this apartment, but there is a shower. This is a driving mission, so it doesn't really matter as much, but it's immersive. And goodbye. Cool. I wanted to see if I can turn the TV on and then sit over there on the uh, counter with my cigarette and everything. The teenager was given dangerously high levels of hormones, anabolic steroids, and stimulants. The possessions and genetic material of seven other missing teens were also found in the car. Belonging to one Anthony Harris. Unfortunately, death is unknown. So I can. Cool. And I smoked the cigarette. Mm -hmm. But I think if I turn the radio on, it'll over right the uh, override the TV. Okay. I'll just be right back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Batista door and explode! 
Yeah. Okay, so we have to go pick up this Bozo Ozob guy. I'm driving across town in our fancy car. Now I parked my car out there. Uh, I parked my car out there behind the hotel. But we'll just go on a nice stroll around. I took a nap for four hours in the game here. Took a shower. I'm all refreshed. I'm sure I have a series of buffs. Let's just refresh my other buffs. Max health, carry weight, max stamina. Uh, some cat food. Mm-hmm. Delicious. And sin milk. With coffee. Man, that Julio's a real bastardo, man. He's at that where they should be in the beast. That dude hit me. Yeah, my apartment's right up there. We'll be heading through here, no big deal. You're about to know my friend. Okay. Free city beauty. Head into my car first. Okay. Enemies are normally here on the seats. Okay. All rolled insurance. Watching that. My left ear went deaf. again. Behind this building here. Right over here behind this mega building. We want to go ahead and check some stuff. Those dudes might have respawned already. <laughs> Not enough money. is no longer here. Driving around the block to the front of the cherry blossom flim flam land. Out of my way, Thornton. This road here will take me where I want to go a little bit, but not really.
at all? Nope. Actually. This will lead down to the parking structure and then I'll, I'll loop around. Right over here. I'll loop around now. Right on down the hill, yeah. Oh no. We're picking up Mr. Bozo Ozob. Ozob Bozo. Oh no. Right over here. Kendachi. Subsystems. Well, I think I have to go call the Mr. Bozo. Bozo. What's up? Your business is my business. I'll send him a text. I'm here. Today we Let me call them again. Technologies, the industry leader in full body conversion. Oh, it's bozo. Uh, Not long ago. Fine, I'll check the quest description. I don't even know. What am I supposed to do? I have to honk. What? Class of high-grade implants: the Brighthorn K Titanium Skull, Iger T Bone Series, and the Housestock W Arm Series. Meanwhile, their first major there he is. Look, it's Mr. Bozo Ozab. Ozab Bozo. Hey, you're V. Yes. Oh, fuck. You didn't answer my question. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Good. Then let's go. Where to? Little China. I have a craving for Kung Pao chicken. Sounds Extra good. spicy. Sounds good, buddy. I know where to go. I am the best of the best. Little China. That's where I'm from, you know. Doesn't it bother you? What? The grenade. You know, the one on your face. Uh, you get used to it. I just gotta be careful not to pull the pin when I want to pick my nose. Oh my. Okay, we're in Little China, but where exactly? Probably the market. Nice out here. A lot of stuff has changed. Where are you from? Brazil. You know, down in South... I know where Brazil is. <laughs> you never know with you gringos. <laughs> okay, to the right, to the right. Oh, yeah. Tiger Claws. Heard of them? <laughs> Who hasn't? Got any friends in there? No, why? <laughs> Just asking. Just ask. Can't help being curious. He's <laughs> about to slaughter a bunch of them. You got any Tiger Call friends before I slaughter? It's a pretty cool mission because we get to uh, ride around for a bit. So, I'm going to go in front of Tom's Diner. I'm sure. 
or whatever. Man, it's gonna be so exciting to play from scratch. One day, macroware. Fujitsu. Fujitsu. Done. This is the place. Wait for me here and keep the engine running. Yes, ma'am. Came all this way to get takeout. You could say that. Yeah. He's shooting all of them. He's doing his business inside. Yeah, 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 okay. Oh what gosh. the fuck was that? You got grenades up your ass too? Better then, if you told me what you were planning from the get go. The banged beasts. They set off on the hunt, say, hungry for human good. flesh. Really Dozens fucking good. Thank you. Got a stick up your ass, though. This is where like we part ways. What? Good luck, V. And uh, relax a bit, okay? This is a long term uh, quest. What about my payment? What horrors? about it? Years ago, Here. a ship like I said before, Centauri the best don't come cheap. Four thousand dollars. And hey, that it keep your nose to the ground. By the vampire elite in Arasaka. It could transform Saburo's enemies into the werewolves, leashed and bound to his will. But the crash you got a problem. Oh, I got the freak. Better shut your fat fucking mouth before I put you six feet under. You can break my bones, but you cannot stop the pursuit of truth. I've had enough of this guy. Last thing we need is this level of crazy staying in the streets. Fuck him up. Maybe that'll teach him a real lesson. No. Close call. Thank you. The truth cannot be silenced. Ever. Yeah, no buddy. problem. I mean, who's gonna tell me how we fake the Mars landing if I let him knock your teeth out? You have no faith in my words, do you? You think I don't know when I'm mocked? When they take me for a false prophet? Ah. There's a grain of truth. It's hard to take your interpretation seriously. But there is a little truth in what you say. Sometimes even more than a little. You see it too! You know that behind a veil of darkness lurk creatures from our nightmares, but you fear to believe it! You know, if you had any kind of real evidence of this grand cosmic plot... I do! Tonight! They're meeting at an old factory in Kabuki to Ooh. exchange something important! Observe them! Seize this item, Ooh. this Alpha Centauri artifact! You'll see I was right from the beginning! Thanks for the tip. Well, how do you know about this? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. How do you even know about this meeting? Their radio waves resonate within my brain. Ever since the accident, I've heard their secret broadcasts. The accident. You know that doesn't instill confidence, right? You don't understand! I have their code processor in my head! I don't know how my Ripper Doc got his hands on it. But thanks to this, I can listen mm. into their plots and schemes. If you help me, we can save this planet together! I want to believe him. Hey, I'll see what I can do. Thanks for the tip, I think. You mustn't intervene too soon, or too late. All could be lost. The fate of humanity rests upon your shoulders. Don't let us down. Do not let me down. No pressure, got it. 
Okay. The Prophet's Song. Alright, so I have to head down to the Kabuki. I'll head there. I'll head there. Cops upset. There's no reason. Let me go back over here. And there are no enemies right over here. I'm checking over here for enemies. No enemies over here. Okay, I'm heading to the Kabuki. A factory near the Kabuki, apparently. A factory near the Kabuki. Let's just do some parkour between A and B, huh? That'd be fun. There are police over here, though. bit faster. We're heading on down. One block down. And around. Back of that. Perhaps. We got some trees. We have the med center in front of us. It's a big one. Oh, it's a big hospital. Let me go check this little parking area behind or this storage area next to the hospital. corner. Up and at them. I'll check out this clothing vendor. If he has something new for me. All the time. It's amazing. It really is. $94,000. Oh my. Oh my. We're heading down. Oh. That was a civilian. You shouldn't be hanging out with these tapes. Not good for your health. <laughs> All right. This is the Kabuki waterfront. Let's see if there's enemies down here because there should be. Because there should be.
Boring buddy. Okay, we're curving around the bend over here. There's an ATM coming up. Right here. I felt like clearing the kabuki while I'm out here. Just just around the bend area. Around the bend. Take a second. I'm desperately trying to build up that annihilation skill. Thank you. Oh no. Yep. And right over here, there's a whole dock area with enemies. I can light them up. Hurt me. You cannot hurt me. And now we go across the land. Uh, I'm gonna go up here first. So I'm, I'm heading to a factory by the Kabuki. Apparently. Oh great, I jumped in front of the van. In front of it, I say. Get up! Oh my gosh. This is just my normal running speed. We don't want to go this way. We want to go this way. We want to go this way. Huh? Thank you. Maybe over here. There's a dust room. To be honest, there hasn't been a dust room in a while. I'm not that mad about it. I'm supposed to snoop up on this meeting to verify this conspiracy theorist stories about the the influence of Alpha Centaurian aliens on geopolitics. Oh, yeah. If it ain't Johnny Silverhand. Who are you betting on showing up? The reptilians or techno necromancers? Uh, well, reptilians. Reptilians, obviously. If anything's fishy, 
always pin it on the reptilians. V, V, V. Hate to tell you this, but reptilians don't exist. Do we need to have a talk about Santa Claus, too? Maybe. Enough joking around. Gotta be quiet. Gotta wait. We're supposed to hide. Techno Necromancers. I don't think I've done this mission, to be honest. Oh boy. Diff different weather effect? Sometime later. No more no dust storm. One. As expected, I guess. No Gotta be done. honest, though. I'm pretty disappointed. Don't lose hope yet. Whoa. Maelstrom. And, uh. Maelstrom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone actually showed. It's Maelstrom. Techno necromancers, then. I knew those reptilians were bullshit. Hmm. <laughs> they are the techno necromancers. Because, you know, that's what they look like. Can't believe it. There's some actual conspiracy shit going down right now. <laughs> what says the wolf father to the moon mother as she descends to Earth? I have protected the realm of man and shadow, but today they are protected by our children, whose name is Patricide. Well then. I could just attack, but I want to see what they have to say. In the age of his failure, he became lost in the forest. Lilith has concealed the Tenth Circle from the Ancestor's eyes. Uh... Yeah, that's weird. They have like a whole ritual. No, they're not going to get away. Come on. We're shooting the engine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got him. Cool. Guys are dodging around, aren't they? Here we go. Punchy, punchy. That works. Whoa. That was exciting. Past tense. I got the mysterious chip. Weird stuff. One good shot and we're done. Freaky ticky. Freaky ticky. Okay. Hi there, buddy. The mystery chip. I was hoping for green blood. Life really hey there, is nothing but an endless disappointment. Wonder what our prophet will say about this chip. Maybe I can analyze the chip, but probably not. Uh, you know. 
Probably not. I'm guessing. Undoing of Paul the First Nate. Chapter 1, The Apocalypse. His name was, was Raish Bartmoss. Everyone knows who destroyed the first net. Why? Why? It was supposed to save us. Yes. I'll read that later on. Raish Bartmoss. Just try after reading. Crack security. I don't have the means, do I? Five five one Charlie five five Bravo Delta. Got it. So now what? I have to go back in. I've cracked the security, so I can read what's on the chip. Let's find out. Ah, oh my gosh. What? What? I just cr cracked it and nothing happened. Well, it did say destroy after reading. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I destroyed it. So now we have to head on back down to that prophet. I'll go the wrong foot for the most part. Maybe. Nah. I'll ride my motorcycle. We're heading back down to the alley. And now coming up another solid piece from all the way down on take the left. Likewise. Obviously. Here we go now. Woo! Copyright. I have to be careful. They're fighting each other as nighttime. It's a joke. A fucking joke. Hanes, welcome. Estoy bailando. They call me Tonto. Alright, Prophet. I got what you need. Information. About the... Techno Necromancers. Oh no. Where'd he go? Where's Gary? What happened? I warned him. Some black suits came by, blue eyes and all. Looked just like he said. Then, then they threw him in an AV and flew him into the mothership. Mothership? Seriously? You saw this mothership? Yeah. How could I? They sprayed this black mist. I couldn't see nothing. Poor Gary. He sacrificed himself for us. Poor Gary. Right now, I'm collecting donations for a monument in his honor. 
The crimes of Alpha Centauri. Here, have six hundred dollars. Ah, why not? Gary's earned his grand fucking monument. Take this before I change my mind. God, I don't know what to say. Gary'd be so touched. What's up with this chip? I got this chip here. Am I taking a look? <sighs> Gary did say you're devoted to our cause. I show me. I'll tell you what I know. Here you go. The mystery chip. Jesus Christ, hide that quick! Nobody can know, got it? Why? What is it? What's this all about? Gary knew this had happened! They here! To bend us to their will, to, to make us their puppets! Whoa, calm down. Who is? The Tecro Necromancers? And lo! They shall descend upon the earth unseen, the sky shrouded in darkness. That's what he said! Night's coming! The Eternal Night! And so ends the epic saga of discovering <laughs> secrets of paranormal beings. What's this story taught us? Shut up. Open ending and suck. That lack of closure sucks. I don't disagree, but I had something else in mind. Some people know more than others. They hear the private conversations of the world's elite. And what do they do with that knowledge? They invest all their time reinventing age-old fairy tales. I'd rather believe in aliens. Oh, where's your sense of imagination? I choose to believe we narrowly avoided war with vampires and aliens. Don't we all? Vampires, aliens, reptilians, all captivating, romantic even. Truth, on the other hand, is brutally mundane. Its corpse pulling the strings. Twisted bastards sketched out on their power fantasies. You think that's what we saw? Shady corpo biz? Shady no corpo about biz. It. They're the world's real blood suckers. Them, and always them. Prophet Don't Gary. Act out to our memorial for dear Gary. You know why they had to make this video? The dearest Gary. So what else do we have? That was a nice side quest. We have this car, I could buy. I gotta spend my money. Oh, chipping in. Hanakoa embers. The whole river quest line that I have to do. The final fight. A bunch of stuff out there in the desert. So I think at this point I should break away from here and uh, head back out to the desert, okay? I'm going to buy this vehicle and drive out there maybe. Mm. Let's go purchase this vehicle. Do some parkour to get there. It's probably at the very top of the parking structure. Let's go faster. Arasaka. Extreme performance. <laughs> Pretty cool. I want to see that race. I went too far in a few places. I think it's on the, uh, you know, I think it's on the very roof or something. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. The homeless population in Night City has risen by 300%. The NCPD has announced that it will soon launch a sweeping catch and release program to relocate the vagrants outside city limits. The police are asking any willing volunteers eager to help in the effort to report to their local NCPD station. In exchange, 
The police are offering the chance of a criminal record reset to those who actively participate. Night City, what does it mean to you? Is this the way out or no? You know its history. Who was rich in nope. night? How many stations are in the NCOF system? Which city district boasts the best burrito in town? The best the burrito in town. The and more can be found at the address at the bottom oh. of your screen. Check it out and fall in love with Night City all over again. That That's hood thing is kind of hard to see over, huh? Day with WNS News. So I want to get out to the desert, so... Uh, we'll be going around to Wellspring and then out to the edge all the way through across or something like that. Either way, let's go. It's all foggy. It's fine. I'll go straight across. You know, I'll go straight across. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, this car is a loosey goosey. Hard to see. Here. Let me go into the, the bike. Pretty much. I gave it a shot. There we go. Okay, so this is a path on down out of the downtown. The, the, the park or something. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going across the main park area. Right through the middle of the flim. I want to go this way. I want to go this way. We're heading across and up to Chapel Hill. And then out to the desert. Wow. Let's go left. All the way up and out. This is Pacifica. Not take those right lanes as it'll lead up to uh, Pacifica. We don't want that. I'm gonna go all the way across a little bit. Not that way, not that way, not that way. Oh boy. Okay, it's all foggy. Yes. Let's take the next exit. Right here by Arasaka. Go right past and wrap around. Yep, right past this corner and hang a right. We'll take this all the way down. Might even go by the dam, maybe. 
up and across the highway. That is it the pizza place? Okay. Don't matter. Here's that uh, basketball court. All right, there's the unfinished highway leading to the uh, mega building. Let me go up there. And all the way down to the end. There's the hospital. Or the clinic, I should say. So let me... Let me go this way. This is like a loop. Right over here to the right. And let me go down Gladstone or something. Or let me go around this... Um, there it is. I found it. 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 It's right there. So let me turn around and reset that whole loop because it wasn't as clear as I wanted it to be. But let me go back. Where was I? I don't even know. But either way, I'm here now. I just want to crystallize this route. Got that loop. Right past the loop, right past this gas station on the right lane, straight a, uh, right over here. This will lead to the desert. And I want to help out Pan Am right now. This should lead right out. Oh, yeah. Stop by this gas station for some baked gas just to unload my stuff. So smooth. Before the next mission. I'm pretty sure there's no durability loss here in the game. I'm here in the desert. I want to say hello to my little friend. And there's a cyber psycho over here. The house in the hill. Let's go say hello. Right now it's about 6 p.m. I expect to get that package anytime now. Second. I might break this stream up into two parts and overlap the morning because I've been missing the morning crowd, so I might want to change that. You want to go up and around over here? Should be some sort of official road coming up. Official road. There's a train tracks. There should be some sort of road. check out this mission. It says, shots were heard in the outskirts of NC. Night City. Rare given the seemingly peaceful area. We're gonna go out there and check it out. Oh my gosh. The Unification War, the Metal Wars. A series of armed conflicts spanning from 2069 to 2070. It was fought between the NUSA, the New United States of America, 
and the Free States, supported by Militech and Arasaka, respectively. The conflict's name differs depending on who you ask. The NUSA Militech supporters call it the Unification War, whereas Arasaka Corp and certain Free States have preferred to the name Metal Wars. North California, NorCal, stood on the side of the Free States, while South California, SoCal, stood by NUSA. Yes, the war was finally concluded by a ceasefire signed in Arbon, SoCal. However, both sides declared victory for themselves and found the terms of peace largely unsatisfactory, causing many to believe the outbreak of another armed conflict is only a matter of time. The, f the free states are obligated to forfeit their independent status, albeit only on paper. Ultimately, the NUSA chose to accept the conditions of the peaceful resolution rather than risk the escalation of war across the globe. This is talking about a big, a big war that was in this game between uh, ending at 2070. I, I believe right after that is when Arasaka came into Night City. Okay. Uh, there was a ceasefire in Arvin, SoCal. Both sides declared victory for themselves and found the terms of peace largely unsatisfactory. Many to believe the outbreak of another armed conflict is only a matter of time. The free states were ob obliged to forfeit their independent status. Okay. Ah, only on paper. But they'll be autonomous in practice. Ultimately, the NUSA chose to accept the conditions of this peaceful resolution rather than risk the escalation of war, okay? Arasaka and Militech suffered he heavier losses than any other corporation or government body involved in the conflicts. Both megacorps lost billions of euro dollars in military equipment, and because Militech had their own boots on the ground, they additionally lost the lives of thousands of soldiers, their independent consultants. Okay, so Arasaka was supporting the Free States, okay? And... NorCal is on the side of Free States and Arasaka. SoCal and USA and Militech, you see. Crazy stuff. Educational. Cyberpsychosis is a problem. It's a collective term for all psychotic and anxiety related personality disorders caused by hardware implanted in the body. Very important. Alright, so let me go check my door again. Whoa. For the package, and I'll be right back. Alright. I'll stand right here. And face that way. Yes. 